our team is attempting to build an all-terrain six-legged vehicle capable of navigating areas wheeled vehicles can't. Not an easy task. After finding an expert in hexapod technology, the guys got a quick look at what Hal's small-scale model can do and are now going to attempt to build the world's first legged vehicle capable of carrying a human. Their version of the six-legged robot will be configured like an SUV of today. It will have a chassis, batteries, drivetrains, and a driver's seat, with the major difference being legs, not wheels. Up in the lair, Zaz is finalizing a custom drivetrain to work in conjunction with the brains from Hal's small-scale Rex to make the 6x6 walk. If you look at the video of Rex in action, it looks like it's just spinning those legs around crazily like they were wheels. But that's not what's happening at all. There's a complicated control mechanism that ensures that the legs are synchronized in speed and position, making sure that those legs hit the ground in the all-important alternating tripod gait. What we have here is a complete drivetrain for one leg of the robot. A motor, a gearbox, an encoder, and a power controller. So Zaz and Hal set up a test integrating both systems to determine if they can control the movement of the legs. But since Mike's still working on his carbon fiber appendages, they're going to use a replacement. The classic two by four. Zaz attaches the test leg and stands back. They start off simple, first testing their ability to spin the leg. Satisfied, they attempt to control the speed and motion just as if it was walking. Yes. It works, but Hal isn't happy with this slow pace. Let's increase the speed. Come on, I'm yeah. dying for it. It's alive. And based on this test, when Mike's legs are attached, the drivetrain should keep the 6x6 moving forward. It passed with flying colors. We got to the point where we were doing position control of a leg with the brains of the small Rex. We're in a good place now, drive-wise. Last week, Zaz and Hal conducted a successful test, which proved the combination of drivetrain and brains from Hal's little Rex could control a mock-up leg. So now, with five days left in the build, Zaz is in the warehouse getting ready to install all six of his drivetrains to the chassis. We're putting everything onto the chassis for the first time. Motors go to gearboxes. They bolt onto the chassis. Before long, Zaz has put on the finishing touches, powers up the first one, and it starts to sing. Beautiful. The batteries can do it, the motors can do it, the gearboxes can do it, the legs can do it. The drivetrains power the vehicle up to a standing position. And now for the moment of truth. Will it actually walk the walk? Ready? Yeah. Ready? First step's coming up. I'm nervous. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, 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 y